peachydragon.com. Happy creative stuff. Hey, and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Creative Stuff. So we don't have a Buttercup model rendered out yet, but we're working on it. So let's go into how to do the 3D hair of Buttercup. Now, as you can see, I don't have an example here yet. So that's what we'll be creating. It's so quite sad and freaky on its own. And based on the way I did the mapping, the back of the head is going to be hidden inside the hair. But now it looks like she has a third eye on the back of her head. You can't sneak up on her at all. She's like Batman. Okay, so let me bring back the layers with the reference material, such as hair reference. And that one. okay, now we have something to look at. To model. I'm going to first, you know, it's nice to have the head, but I'm going to apply our modeling material to it that I discussed earlier. This will allow us to have it to set the opacity manually to decide whether we can see through it or not. And switch back to this view. Now in the side view, you can see her hair is odd. I'm not sure if that's going to work yet, but we're going to try it. First of all, we need the cap, just uh, the top part of the head. So once again, just like with the others, I'm going to take the normal head shape. I'm going to resize it a little bit. In this case, not as much as some, oh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Make a copy. And now I'm going to literally draw that shape from this angle. If you look at her from the front, it doesn't matter so much because those parts go outside of the head. But from the side, this is a very specific shape. So in this case, I'm going to do something I don't do often. I'm going to manually draw this line all the way. That first line I'm going to do a bit more horizontal than they had it. Mm, it's almost the same. There we go. And then from here it starts to become important to get the shapes right. So I'm going to click and drag. Click. That worked. Click. Now the part outside doesn't matter because I'm going to use this for a compound object. I'm going to close this part. Yes, I'm going to throw an extrude on it. Extrude modifier. There we go. And I'm going to turn that amount way up. Because when we go to our other view, I'm going to say, whoa, that looks freaky. But besides that, we're going to move it so that it intersects with the head completely. It only needs to be as wide as the head. I'm completely overkilling it here. And now we can take that hair and this object. Let's select that, convert it to an editable poly, then go to standard objects, compound objects, I don't know if that's standard or geometries, compound objects, boolean, add an operandi and we'll add that outer layer of the hair and then we'll select intersection. Okay, so, eh, looks weird but it's going to look weird, it's one of those things. And then I'll select it and whoops, that was <laughs> accidental. I added, oh, keep accidentally adding more objects to it. Yeah, undo that. Uh, let me redo that. Let me just change this view back to what it was. I believe it was right. Okay, let's just convert that to an editable poly. Okay, so we've got the hair cap, looks about right. Now I'm going to use polygon modeling to get the rest of the shape. So I have two options. I can either model it using this shape and extrude from it, or I can just make it from a new shape. Let's let's attempt modeling it, extruding it from this. It might be a challenge, but eh, it's a good exercise. First of all, let's do the little gap in the front. I forgot to do that. So let's use exactly the same technique we just used. I'm going to take the line and I'm just going to draw a triangle. It doesn't matter that it's skewed, it's not going to make a difference. And I'm going to add the extrude modifier like we always do. Extrude. Now for this one we don't want it that long because we want it to go into the head, but not out the back. And we also want to be to see what we're doing and make it work. Okay. I would suggest let's make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. 
So we select our hair cap that we have on top and we go to what we did before, geometry, compound object, boolean. We add this triangle as an operandi and we say subtract. Now let's convert this to an editable poly. And let's see if we have any of the, let's just isolate that. Let's see if we have any of the same problems that we had with, with the, the blossom hair. Oh, I accidentally undid it. Let me just do that again. Right click, isolate selection looks to be fine doesn't look like there are any gaps in it let's look at it from that side yeah, it looks decent okay right click and isolate okay now front view and side view this is a bit of a challenge let's oh that's the front view that this is supposed to be the side view but i accidentally changed it there we go okay so let's decide if we're here. I don't want the hair to have this little tail all the way at the back. I think it should be a bit like Wolverine where it comes out and then from the top it should, if I explain here, from the top it should have an angle. Now you might not be able to see that from the top. It should have an angle there like a moon. So we'll have it coming out, moon, out. Okay, so let's just start randomly. We want it sort of in the corner. So I can assume it's going to be a poly around here somewhere. A little bit higher on the head, maybe a little bit lower. Right about there. Okay, so I'm just going to take a few polys there. And I'm going to pull those polys out at a, sort of a 45 degree angle until... Okay, you can see in the front view that it's already reached the right amount, but in the side view it hasn't gone far enough back. So let's... Okay, so that's roughly where it needs to be. Um, in terms of symmetry, I think maybe we'll cut it in half later and then flip it and, and mend it that way. Okay, so let's start modeling here. Take that, put it there. Take this part, put it there. I think we need to bring out some more of these polys underneath there if we want, if we're using this approach. Bring that out. Oh, we missed one in between. And take that poly. Ah, there we go. Got it all working. Thank goodness. Bring that out. Let me see, is that from the front? I think that's halfway decent. We'd have liked it to go lower down, but now it's the front side discrepancy you have to improvise. So. Instead, we're going to make this come out a little bit more gradually. Get that same shape going there. So we match it up from the front view. Now, we'll fix this problem later. You might be looking at that going, what is going on there? And in this case, also, let's see, that's right from the front view, but from the side view, we can... Oops, that's the wrong way. Okay, so now we're matching it in this view as well. Let's look at that. It doesn't affect the front view, it only affects this side. No one we have to pull up, maybe make that spike there, take it up a little bit. Okay, so now if we look at it in 360 degrees, Let's turn on edged faces here just so we can see what's going on. Edged faces. It does look a little bit. She's getting that Wolverine look. Let's look at the top view and the perspective view. We can see that we should probably pull those polys out a bit more as well. So we're going to click all of them. And we're just going... So it's almost self-explanatory, you just look at that angle there. You can see that looks pretty decent. Decent enough anyway. And then we'll do the same in a few other places. Let's look at these. Wonder if that worked. Seems to have worked well enough. Do the same thing there. 
and then I'm pulling them out less and less because I don't the middle of the head will basically stay where it is okay so we've got it let's just do a fly around let's isolate this object just to see what we've got it's really not bad I thought I would have to do more tweaking I want to check if there's something here that bugs me but it's quite decent I just maybe want to connect those two dots there because it's better to have um, everything in quads or triangles, but I think I prefer quads. So I'm going to use the quick slice tool to just connect those two there. Let's cut. Slice down there. Well, I don't, that didn't work out correctly. Let's redo that. That, that okay. There we go. That's better. Now there are others I could slice, but that one just it bothered me more for some reason. Just look, I'm going to fix that bit of the hair soon. Don't you worry yet. The top of her hair stays the same. It doesn't stand out or anything. Let's go end isolate. Okay, now I'm going to stop the video here and then we're going to continue in the next part of this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, tell us what you think, click the like button below. Otherwise, you can send us, follow us and send us messages on our Facebook pages. We've got two of them, our Twitter, the Instagram, the YouTube channel, or our traditional websites, if you like that kind of thing. This video is awesome. PeachyDragon.com Happy creative stuff.